Hello, I'm Danny Mac, and this is a tutorial on how I create eyelids in ZBrush. Now, this tutorial is based on one that I saw by Steve Jens a couple of years ago, and I must have watched that tutorial about 50 times, so I thought it would be rude not to link it in the description below. And what I would recommend doing is watching this one, and then watching his and sort of come up with a method that works for you. So it's usually about this part in the skull that I think about putting in the eyes and the eyelids. Uh, so what I'm going to do is insert a sphere and put that into place. Now it doesn't matter if the position is perfect at this point because I'm working modular, so what I mean by that is that I'm separating different areas of the head into different subtools, and that just means you can rearrange and position things a lot easier. Um, once the eye is roughly in place, what I'm going to do is solo that, go into orthographic view, so that's draw perspective, just turn perspective off, then control click on the canvas to mask that and then control alt drag just to remove a little gap in between like that. Then I'll come over to subtool, extract and if you have started with the default sphere like I have and not resized it too much what you'll find is that this thickness of 0.02 works pretty much perfectly. So I'm going to extract that and click accept. And you see we have nice thick eyelids, a little bit too thick, but that just gives us a bit of room to play with. So now I'm going to select the eyelid and you can see it's quite dense. So what I'm going to do is come over to here to geometry, Z remesher, and then just drag this to about one and turn off adapt. Then I will subdivide it and you'll see we have separate polygroups here. This can be quite useful because if I select brush move topological, so that's BMT, you can see that I can manipulate these meshes individually. But also if I come up to brush, auto masking, then mask by polygroups and turn this all the way to 100, I can do the same thing with my transpose tools. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to bring up one of Proko's videos. If you haven't seen his videos before, I would highly recommend them. He focuses on drawing, but a lot of it is applicable to sculpture as well. And you can see with this eye here, well, first thing you'll notice is, is that the upper eyelid is further forward than the lower one, which is important. But also, if I sort of come across here and find the midpoint of this eye, and draw an imaginary line across, you'll see that the upper eyelid is a lot closer to the center than the lower. So if I come back into ZBrush, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate this one and I'm going to leave this one alone and just push it with my move tool. One thing to bear in mind is that the upper eyelid comes over the top of the lower one. And make sure to check it in side view as well. Just to make this a bit clearer, I'm going to fill in this section. Now this upper eyelid, because of the way I did it, what I need to do now is get my trim dynamic. I'm going to subdivide it because trim dynamic works a bit better on... It, it, it won't work so well on that level of subdivision. Now I'm just going to sort of push it out like this because what you want to see is this bottom bit. You want to be able to see that from the front view and 
the way I did it, you can't really, but this sort of gets around that. Now there's a, a there's an area of skin that comes into this corner. You can just sort of do it this way and get it in like that. But what I like to do sometimes is actually separate this out into a separate piece. So mask this area, extract that. Then I will turn on symmetry and remesh that to half. And maybe half again. Then subdivide. And if I press B, I, N, I can just inflate this. Close to how I want it. And then I will remesh it again. And you can see that with it separated like this it's a lot easier to control then what I'm going to do is mirror the... Uh, first of all I'm going to turn off this mass by poly groups by the way I have that set to a button up here toggle auto masking by poly groups if you want this this is uh, from an awesome plugin uh, called Nix Tools. I'll put a link in the description be below. It's free, but definitely worth donating a bit of money to, I think. Um, now with this eye, what I'm going to do is come over to Deformation, Mirror, then come to Geometry, Modify Topology, Mirror and Weld, and then do the same for the eyelids. I have these buttons set to hotkeys you will have to get rid of your subdivision levels now I think for for this model the eyes are looking a little bit small so what I'm gonna do is select these eyes then resize them like that making sure symmetry is turned on then I'm pressed down press 1 and that's going to repeat that action for the eyelids um, but again I need to make sure symmetry is turned on and they're looking a little bit better now but you can see how having all these elements separated into different sub tools you can see how it makes it a lot easier to adjust different areas of the face Another thing I'll do sometimes is merge the eyeballs with the eyelids. Uh, just making sure that I don't group these together so that I can split them up easily later. Then what I can do is just uh, manipulate these together. Then come over to Subtool, Split, Group Split. And then it's back to how it was. Then once I'm happy with what I have, what I will do is merge them together. Now I don't want to merge the eyeballs in there, so I'll put that to the top. Just merge down. Okay. And then dynamesh it. And you want to make sure you've got enough resolution. Obviously I don't here, so I'm going to turn that up. Maybe something like that. And finesse this a little bit and I'm just gonna edit the original recording at this point because what I initially said was that it would be best to manually retop all this to get nice sculpting topology but I've just found a tutorial by the aforementioned Steve James and he gets really nice sculpting topology
using polygroups groups and z remesher so what i'm just going to do is link that in the description below check that out it's awesome